Back locally, fire crews say lightning sparked a house fire on Longham Court in North Chattanooga last night. The strike was the reason for the flames they were able to contain to the attic of this home. However, there's extensive smoke and water damage to the residents. No one was home at the time. Two Chattanooga firefighters were transported to the hospital for treatment of minor injuries. They were released. Homeowners can be proactive to prevent a lightning strike to their house. And Dallas Payton spoke with an electrician about some things homeowners should know. Dallas? Greg, Cindy, first thing you want to do is have an electrician check your electric system at your home to make sure it's properly grounded. The next thing you want to do is have a lightning rod installed. Elemental electric owner Seth Westbrook Toker explained that grounding is a method where conductive components of a house are tied to the ground. So we actually drive eight foot long uh, rods into the dirt and then we tie that uh, with some wire and all that runs back to your electrical system. So if anything bad occurs, too much voltage, it goes into the ground. He says getting a lightning arrestor on your home or getting a lightning rod installed in your yard will help protect your home. And those are uh, have a have a really, really high success rate. I've been quoted from an engineer. You're looking at about 87 percent of the lightning strikes. Uh, direct hits on a house are safely directed to the earth with no damage to the house. Lightning strikes are unpredictable, so it's best to be proactive. So prevention is always better than reactivity, right? And so we put in like breakers and breaker panels to prevent damage when something goes wrong. We don't put the breakers in after you have a house fire, it's before. Uh, same thing with lightning prevention. You put up the system first and then if it ever occurs, it's directed appropriately. Outside of a fire being caused by lightning, Westbrook Toker says most of the damage homeowners never see. Sometimes you can see like a burnt outlet or a burnt switch, like it'll have some smoke damage, something like that. But often it's your electrical components, like the circuit board of your washing machine or your refrigerator. Um, and, it, and it simply does not work the way it used to or it doesn't or, or it just stops altogether. Westbrook Toker says those same measures can be used for apartment complexes as well. Reporting live in Chattanooga for Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton.